so what we're going to do today is this is my original music writing software that I used to use, which is called Finale. I used Finale throughout high school and uh, college. And I was like, man, this would be really cool to kind of go through because, you know, I got a new computer and stuff during quarantine. I was like, it'd be really cool to kind of go through a lot of my old things that I have written before. So that's what we're that's what we're going to do today. Full disclosure, you cannot judge me <laughs> on any of the things that you are about to hear. Uh, they literally go from like when I was a sophomore in high school all the way to like last year. Let's see here. Let's go to open. We're not going to go through absolutely every single one. As you can see, like this is all a song for a friend. You can see this is all song for a friend, but these are individual parts. So like, don't worry about that. Let's see what's going on with, uh, yeah. So here's the 12 tone music theory project. Oh, this is, this, this, this is going to be glorious. actually had to turn that in for a grade that was a project I had to do in college so this was a project we had to do for I don't know oral ear training or maybe it was music theory but um, I tried to make it as drumliney as possible yeah and then that triplet is offset by an eighth note why because screw you that's why this is dumb this is straight up big dumb right here Let's see if we can't get to cooler things. 20th century music composition. So this was a no, 16 on hand. Those are drumline warmups. Y'all don't want to see those. Like 16 on timing. That's just like basic stock stuff. Um, now, if I remember right, I actually kind of liked this. That was a nice chord. Oh man, I didn't realize that that melody was so old. Pitch bend on the vibraphone. I'm like, I'm still to this day, I'm obsessed with that. I think it sounds so cool. And that was supposed to be pitch bent down too. That's kind of cool. Let's listen to that again. Let's, uh, what was that number? Oh, okay. Well, I guess see, this is what finale sucks, dude. Like you see me, I'm clicking on that. It's not working. <laughs> A moment for Jill. All right. Low key, no cap for real. Jill was this girl that I had a huge, huge crush on. Uh, for a long time, like when I was in high school, and then we like kind of met up a little bit when I was uh, out of college. Nothing really happened, um, but <laughs> I tried to impress her by writing her a piece of music because I was a music major or whatever. So like I tried to write her a piece of music, did not go well. Uh, did not work. She thought it was cool, but I was like, best friend, cool. <laughs> Failed. Um, she played flute, but she didn't play flute after high school. So I don't know why I put flute in there. Um, but let's give this one a, let's give this one a go. Uh, let me turn this back up. Okay. Bass, a little chord progression and root position. Kind of sounds like. Kind of sounds like that Kid Cudi song. That's right around the time Project X came out, so that would make sense. Oh, I remember this now.
breathe. <laughs> I remember staying up like until 2 a.m. writing this. I wrote this in like four hours or five hours or something. Okay, I can totally tell that I got tired while I was writing this and that I wrote this at like 4 a.m. because and, – and, and I vividly remember finishing it, sitting up at the top bunk of the, the apartment that I was like living in at the time. Um, that's a whole nother story for another time. Uh, but I remember being in that top bunk at like 4 a.m. like trying to finish this up and being like, uh, uh, I'll just repeat all of it and that'll be fine. <laughs> Um, but it jams. It has that little two-bar jam art thing. I don't know what that came from. But I do remember when I wrote this, it was right around the time that movie Project X came out. Uh, and that song, Pursuit of Happiness by uh, Kid Cudi, had just been remixed. I mean, his original song had been out for a little bit. And it had been remixed and like everybody was jamming to it. So that makes sense that I used the, a similar chord progression, the exact same chord progression. <sighs> a moonlight stroll. Okay. I remember when I wrote this. I wrote this when in 2016, 2017. So I don't think that I was a student teacher yet. I was just a clinician at this school. And the school, and it's actually the school that I work at now. And they had no instruments. They had like they had they had nothing. They just had absolutely nothing. And um, they needed to go to contest. These kids had never experienced a contest, uh, a music contest before. They had never experienced like going on a, a a band trip. They'd never experienced anything of all the things that is and can be banned in in music. Um, but they didn't have any instruments to play any of the thousands of pieces of repertoire that are out there for percussion so i took a list of their instruments and i took a list of their um playing ability and the kids and i just kind of made it mashed it together and this is this is what they came up with they had one glockenspiel a xylophone that was broken uh, i'm pretty sure the glockenspiel the bells were broken too they had one snare drum which was uh functional and they had another snare drum which did not work it didn't have any snares so technically it was just the a really shallow tom they had one bass drum which is bass drum stand was broken and they had a shaker and a suspended cymbal i'm pretty sure i think that's all they had so this is what i wrote with what i had to do and the kids went and they played and it was really really good they had a good time but let's see what's going on with this it's kind of quiet that chord progression now I thought it was gonna be easy for them to learn because it was just a chord progression but I forgot that they don't know anything about chords so it just was a hassle Man, I'm good at writing a melody. So why was I struggling so hard the other day? Like, I was struggling. I was on the struggle bus for real the other day. When or Was, like, was it last night or the night before when I was trying to write a melody for that little beat? So Moonlight Stroll, man. <clears throat> 
this one was so I wrote two of them. One was for the top band, one was for the second band. This one was for the top band, and um, it was the first time those kids had ever gone anywhere with anything, and they went and they did really, really good. Now they don't know this, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. They don't watch the stream, and I think mo uh, most of them are like juniors or seniors in high school by now. Uh, but I was their judge. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes this so crazy is they went to contest with this and I wrote it. I rehearsed it. I taught it. I sent them to a contest and I was the judge, but they didn't know I was the judge. So, uh, because I put a, a paper in front of me and I even picked up my feet so that way they couldn't see my shoes. Cause they used to make fun of my shoes. And, uh, so that way they couldn't see me at all. And they had no idea. It was a blind judge. And I made a big deal. I was like, it's a blind judge. He, he's my good friend. He knows what's going on. Da, 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 da. And it, you know, it put on the pressure for the kids and it totally, it totally worked. Cause when they came back, they were like fired up, ready to go. Like they wanted to do something else.